Hello, and welcome to the MindFish Guide to how to solve the problems from the official SAT study guide. My name is Ryan, and I'll be taking you through one of the last questions in test number one, section three. This is problem number 18, and it is a y equals f of x question. It's important to pay attention to the type of question that you're working on so that you know what types of questions you need to continue to practice and get better at. So in this question, they've given us a chart of x values and f of x values. Remember, f of x is the same thing as y, so this is the input and these are our outputs. The question states, if f of x equals k a to the x for some constants k and a, what is the value of a? So in order to solve this problem, we're going to use the values they've given us and work, try to work through one variable at a time. Now right off the bat, I see a negative and I see an eighth. Seems like those numbers are going to be a little harder to use and I doubt that they're going to eliminate anything. However, zero is often going to help us get rid of a variable, so in this case, I'm going to start with zero. So I'm going to say, f of 0 is going to be k a to the 0. Now anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so in this case f of 0 is going to equal k. Now they told us f of 0 was 1 half, so now I know that 1 half is equal to k, and I'm halfway there. Now the next series of numbers I'm going to put in is the 1 and the 2. Again, I could use this, but it's going to make it harder, so I'm going to go with the nice easy integer values. So for this last part, it's, I'm going to say f of 1, which is going to be equal to k, which is 1 half, times a to the 1, because in this case x is 1. Now we know f of 1 is 2, so now I know 2 equals 1 half times a, and a to the 1 is just a. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, so that 4 is now equal to a. So a is 4, and that is answer choice D on problem number 18. So hopefully that helped out. I hope you can tune in for some more MindFish videos on how to help you solve the official SAT study guide. Thanks.